periodic transfer processes. But as per the latest guidelines, a separate room can also be allocated for the process of embryo transfer. The ovum pickup procedure being completed, the next step is an entry into the culture lab. Now one should remember that culture lab really stands its worth in gold. It is cell tissue culture, a glorified cell tissue culture because embryology is nothing else but advanced cellular culture. An entry is what we first call as a conduit room because the doors or any of the lab never opens out directly into the outside environment. This is done with the sole motive of preventing cross-contamination in order to avoid the mingling of air intra-extra in order to help us preserve a positive pressure so this conduit room is of utmost importance modifications are made in such a way that one door being opened the other always is closed or without closing one door you can never open the master door which leads into the conduit room the sole purpose is to have the main culture lab cut off from the rest as far as maintaining the integrity, sterility of the IVF lab. Once inside the lab, the procedures of ART commence, be it IVF, ICSI, laser assisted hatching, cryo, vitrification, so on and so forth. Taking into consideration ambient air quality, temperature modulation, removal of VOCs and a generalized clean sterile environment. This lab is amalgamated with a number of gadgets and gizmos. For example, ICSI machines, inverted microscopes, the gadgetry includes multiple units, laser assisted hatching, screen documentation, computerized analysis, TV screens for monitoring, for proper display, recording of events, subsequent data to be provided to the patients, Coming to the most important machine or the gadget, the incubator, which is the heart of ART procedure. The most important, not to be lagged behind, certain instruments which are there, which unfortunately do not get attention. They literally have to scream for attention. The clean workstation or the laminar airflow. With ambient air filtration, good HIPAA filters, stereo zooms, hot blocks, portable benchtop incubators, all necessary for carrying out the procedure trouble-free, hassle-free, stress-free under absolute atraumatic conditions. It's not only the gadgets that are responsible, the overall setup of the lab, the modular version, compound incorporated with intense air quality which else otherwise are very much responsible for certain epigenetic factors so an amalgamated or an assorted lab is nothing else but a proper fruitful mixture of gadgetry application support and implementation the ball rolling once the oocytes are aspirated in the ovum pickup room, the main problem is how to maintain its integrity. The number of gadgetries available are phenomenal. As I said, the list is endless. But one of the most innovative gadgets developed by the Fornax series is the mobile nest. 
The main idea is that it maintains a perfect temperature during the aspiration. Once the tube is transferred from the pickup room to the laboratory, the temperature is at a plateau. It remains constant. Battery operated even though out of the cradle. The next step which goes on is the process what we call it as the scanning of the oocyte which takes place under ideal air quality nearly class 100 on what we call as the clean workstation. Modified, built as per your requirement whether it be a long dual workstation 8 feet by 2 feet it could be 6 feet by 2 feet or 4 feet by 2 feet the success depends upon a lovely integrated stereozone microscope without which the process of scanning of the oocyte separation of the oocyte and the pooling of the oocyte otherwise would have been a near impossibility Allied gadgets like hot block, temperature control, hot blocks with vertical tube slits, hot blocks with horizontal slits are all at our disposal. The need of the hour is speed and non-traumatic working conditions. Scanning facilitated by ideally equilibrated media state-of-the-art disposals and what we term as a tabletop working incubator which doesn't give a lot of trauma to the box incubators which are essentially there for advanced culturing. These are water jacketed CO2 incubators there also are available triple gas incubators inerts compartmentalized three door paneling for easy understanding and making the life of an embryologist a little simple because he can compartmentalize the products where he wants to keep where ideal for the culture of gametes equilibration of media and subsequent day-to-day -day procedures this laminar flow is also an ideal tool for the process of dish changing media changing media washing embryo transfer embryo loading and the placement of this should be as near to the embryo transfer room. This would be impossible if this gadget is not vibration proof. So in order to make it vibration proof, we have got rubber studs to make it on a flat surface zero vibration. In the event of us shifting and cleaning or the occasional cleaning of the lab, we also have got casters whereby it could be shifted very easily because if it's a running lab daily cleaning is essential and even else an intricate 